Okay guys, we got a 2005 Ford Explorer. Um, this is the 4.0, we're doing a fuel pressure uh, sensor. So, we've taken off this hose right here. Actually, it went this direction. 5 16 or a flathead screwdriver, pop it off. The hose up here comes right off. Let me show you that clip. All you're gonna do with this clip is just pull that over like that, hold it and slide it out. That hose comes off. You have T27s for all the intake bolts. There are four on this head and four on this head in between here. We were able to get every one of those with a nine inch and extension. The very last one on the driver's side head in the rear, we used a six inch extension with the T27 bit. Um, we pulled off both of these hoses. We pulled off this hose. Again, that's the same clip. This one just took a pair of pliers and we've removed this one that went all the way across, um, which I believe was this one. And we just set it back. Now, after doing that, we're simply just gonna raise this up across this reservoir very carefully. We're gonna set a bar in there and hold it just like that. Then we can grab a T27 and pull both of those off right there. Those are the fuel pressure sensor. After you pull both of those, pull it out a little bit. You can take the vacuum hose, put the vacuum hose back on, slide it back in. So let's get that off. Uh, literally, that's all we removed so far. It's only taken a few minutes here. Let's get those 227s. Be right back. Okay, he's got both of the bolts out, the 27 millimeters. I think they were 27s. But um, go ahead. Now he's pulling the hose. Yeah, they're T27s. I'm going to pull the hose off of the back of it. She's tight. And there she is. So now we can slide the other one back in. Much, much easier. Now, if you suspect a vacuum leak or hear a vacuum leak under this plenum, do not do it this way because you're going to have to replace that gasket. And so now we're just going to do it backwards. We'll take the new one. We'll poke it in. And he'll start with the vacuum hose, putting that on first, and then we'll run those two T27s down and everything backwards. So I hope this video helps you out. Please click like, please click subscribe. Click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.